Hey there, do you want to make a sword for your combat game in Roblox Studio? Then this video is for you. Alright, so in this video, we're going to be making a quick little sword that damages our player just like this. When we swing, it hits our player and we kill them. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to create the sword model. So in order to create the sword model, I'm going to get a little part here. Make it something like black. I'm going to call this part handle. And now this is important. This will be the part that will hold. I will make this a handle. Now I'll just duplicate it, call this part guard, make it a gray color, make it like this, just a little bit bigger. Now I'll just duplicate this, call this part blade. Make it a little bigger too, make it white. Make, make it a little thinner. And now we just have to weld this all together. So in the handle, I'm going to create a weld constraint. Select the weld constraint, part zero, handle, part one, guard. Duplicate it and change the part one to blade. Now we'll make a tool. And I'll call it sword. And we'll put these three parts into the sword. Now that we've done that, we're going to make a quick little animation. So I'm going to go to my rig builder, create my avatar. This is just going to be my avatar here. And I'm going to put the sword into my avatar. And there we have our sword and we're holding it. Now I'll go to animation editor, click on my avatar, create, uh, call this swing animation. And now we'll just make a quick little animation. I just made a quick little animation here. Now, I didn't make it so good because I just made it quickly for the sake of the video. Click the three dots here. Set the animation priority to action. Click on them again. Click on publish to Roblox. Click on submit. Click on the link. It'll take us to our browser. And now in our browser, over here, we're going to double click the ID. Copy the ID. Now we'll go back to our game here. And in the tool, in the, I'm going to take the sword out of our rig. In the sword, I'm going to create an animation. Call it swing. Paste the ID in here. And I'll put the animation into our starter pack. Just like this. Now I'll go to our toolbox and I'll just find a quick little sound of a, of a swing. So swing sound. Alright, so that's a cool little swing sound. I'll make a sound. Call a swing sound. Paste it inside of the ID. Go to hit sound. Now I'll just find a little sword hit sound. Create a new sound called call it sword hit. Paste the ID in here. Alright, so now we have everything. I'll make a local I'll make a local script inside of our sword. And now I'm gonna do local player. Check the game.players.local player. Now I'm gonna do repeat wait until player dot character, which will wait until the character loads. Now I'll do local character. Is equal to player dot character and local humanoid. Is equal to character dot humanoid. Now we're gonna do script up and activated colon connect function. And before we do this, I'll make a cooldown. So local cooldown is equal to false. If cooldown then uh, is equal to false, then cooldown is equal to true. Wait one second. Cooldown is equal to false. Now this will check if there's a cooldown so that we cannot spam and now let's actually load the animation so uh first of all I'll do local animation is equal to script up and dot swing local loaded animation is equal to animation um humanoid colon load animation make sure to write it exactly like this and an animation 
now we'll do anim um, now we will do loaded animation colon play and this will play the animation now we want to play the sound and to play the sound we'll actually have to make this in a server script and in order to do this we have to use remote events so so in our sort here let's make a remote event I'm gonna call it swing event I'm gonna and now I'm gonna make another script uh, I'm, and now I'm gonna make a normal script so now I'm gonna do script parent swing event colon fire server over here now we will do script parent dot swing event colon um, dot on server event colon connect function player and now we will do script parent dot sword uh, dot swing sound colon play and this will play the sound so now that we now we can see when we equip our sword and we click it will play our animation and it will play a little sound but there's a problem we don't do any damage so let's see how we can do some damage to our player so the first thing we need to do is we'll create a bool value and we'll call it can damage and i'll set it to false now over here i'm gonna do script.parent dot can damage is equal to dot can damage is equal to true and wait 0 0.2 seconds, wait 0 0.3 seconds, and script.parent.can damage is equal to false. This will check if we can damage. And in order to make it damage, we'll actually put a script into our blade. And over here, we're gonna do script.parent.touch colon connect function hit. And now we're gonna do if hit.parent colon find first child humanoid. And this checks if it's a player. And then we will do um hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health minus equals 20 and we'll just play the sword hit sound script dot parent dot parent dot sword hit hold on play and before we do this we also have to check if script dot parent dot can damage dot parent dot can damage is equal equal to true then put this in here and let's also and let's also make a small little cooldown so that we don't kill them instantly so local cooldown is equal to false if cooldown is equal equal to false then put this in here cooldown is equal to true wait one second cooldown is equal to false so Let's try this out. So now we have a little problem here, which is can damage is not a valid member of tool. So let's go into our script here. And I actually forgot to set it's dot value and not dot. It's dot value. And over here as well, let's set this to dot value. Now, all right. So now we can see that if we equip our, so equip our sword here, and we swing, we can damage our player here, and we can kill them. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any problems, then make sure to join my Discord, and I'll help you out there. So otherwise, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.